Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dali and for tonight we are going to apply some skincare. Okay, so it is my night routine skincare and I'm going to apply this certain certain product from the ordinary because if you can see my lumalabas na pimple. Ha ha ha. Yay, yay. Okay, there is one over here and it's a little bit itchy so with this I would like to control okay as I said earlier and I keep saying that please don't use any skin routine that you don't need okay so if you if, if um, let's say for example if wrinkles is not your problem please don't use skincare that is anti-wrinkle <laughs> if you are still young you don't need this kind of a skin routine okay now if your problem is pimples and then yes please go ahead use any uh, skincare routine that you may find in the market to control the problem of your skin now if your problem is melasma okay try to research okay what are the products and actually it's not the product but what are the uh, active ingredients or what are the actives that we have to apply in our skin okay to address us our skin problem all right so if my problem as of the moment i am i need to control this pimple that is coming out okay then i have to use niacinamide okay niacinamide is a vitamin b3 that contains niacin okay and this would help suppress cloudness of the skin mm -hmm. and uh, what's this uh, hopefully uh, it will purge okay after all right but we don't just have to think now Kapag may pimples ka, it's everything that you have to use or you just have to put, okay, topically. Because pwede rin natin kainin, okay? We can also eat because I, as I have already said earlier that niacinamide is a vitamin B3, okay? And we can intake this, Okay? In the form of what? Okay. Ang um, niacinamide or vitamin B3, makikita natin ito sa mga makakain, sa pwedeng mga makakain gaya ng itlog, cereal, green vegetables. Okay. Green vegetables, beans, fish, and milk. Okay. So, kung wala tayong mahanap or let's say that we don't have time to go to the market because, you know, it's pandemic as of the moment and you are not allowed to go out. The only thing that you are allowed to go out is when you needed something or it's under emergency or for some other necessity. Ganun. So, kung, kung hindi ka makalabas uh, for, for that reason and then eat cereal, drink milk, eat fish, eat beans okay this sort of things we have every information over the internet so you can find food that is rich in vitamin b3 that will help you okay uh, luckily enough i have this product with me from the ordinary i think it is the third time that i am filming niacinamide okay um yeah because it uh, it it really helps the skin it really helps the skin okay so i will be using niacinamide for my pimples and i am going to pair it with the alpha arbutin two percent plus hyaluronic acid okay um alpha arbutin Al alpha arbutin okay yes alpha arbutin this would be for another maybe another video i would i would like to introduce to you this 
kind of uh, stuff okay but maybe that's for the next video but this one is also good in you know unclogging pores the sort of things okay so since uh yun naman ang problema ko for the moment because i am i am thinking or i am considering that the reason of the clogging or my pimple is uh, i am using in excessively the coconut oil coconut oil is uh, uh, how do you call that uh, commodogenic uh, kind of oil which clog the pores so it may cause pimple well kailangan kasi kapag nag apply tayo ng coconut oil it wouldn't really stay long in maliit lang in quantity so we are not supposed to put a lot okay though it is a very very good food for our skin but we are not supposed to put a lot especially for those people na kagaya ko na medyo sensitive yung skin okay so that's it so i will be putting this and uh, i would go first with my niacinamide well i just have to repeat it to you guys that niacinamide does not only um addresses the problem of pimples like this but it also addresses the the fine lines control of fine lines uh darkness or you know acne scars on your face so yes i would like to encourage each and everyone watching this video that we don't just have to rely on products like this no we have to change our eating habit as well okay i think they go hand in hand okay so i said that the very good source and i have to repeat that the very good source of vitamin b3 are found in cereal green vegetables milk and fishes also beans i'm so happy because you know this except for cereals because hindi ako talaga masyado maka cereal but all of those things i have mentioned actually i love eating them beans i love it fish i love trout i love bangus i love galungkong i love sardinas sardines it's a very good it's a very rich in omega omega oil okay and yes so you know my style i just have to put it there and yes <laughs> it's where the problem is i have to put it there and you see there is darkness at the uh around my lips i use niacinamide to to address the problem and it's lightening ah uh, mahirap lang kasi kapag naglalagay ka naman dito it's what you call this medyo kailangan mm, hindi ka masyadong dumidila sa bibig mo i don't know if i said it right okay and please don't forget to put on your neck we just have to pat okay and wait for your skin to suck everything in okay i uh, one thing that i have observed in using niacinamide from the ordinary i can only speak from from the products okay of the ordinary company because it's what i use i haven't used any niacinamide from from any um from any company but it does not mean to say that you just have to buy a niacinamide from the ordinary niacinamide is just a vitamin 
B3 that are present in every skin products or skincare products that we can see in the market. Okay, so whatever that is uh, made by any other company, I think that is good enough. Be, um, bear in mind that um, when we see or when we, whenever we buy a product, so we have to see the ingredients, okay? What are we putting? What we are taking in? Okay, so yes, I was saying I can only speak about this certain product because dito ako lang nagsimula gumamit ng niacinamide. I started using vitamin B3 mm -hmm. with the ordinary product. And uh, I had observed that well, when you use it, actually, after after a while, it purges. Alam niyo yun. Kusang lumalabas yung mga whiteheads, mga blackheads, mga ganon. I don't know why. There is a skin purging. And now I'm going to, because yeah, as you can see, it's, um, it's almost dry. Mm-hmm. Then I have to put my alpha arbutin. Okay, not much. And just pat them in. Okay. Alpha alpha arbutin controls the um, the sebum production. That's why it is it is good for pimples, acne. Okay. I love uh, pairing such, I mean, I love pairing one active with another active. I, I think that that addresses the problem much more uh, effectively and efficiently. So the problem would easily go away. And now I am going to finish off with the azelaic acid suspension. Well, if you try to uncover how to use and mix all of these uh, products of the ordinary, you get a little bit confused, okay? But, however, they are advising their clients to use first or to put on first water base and followed by anhydrous or oil base. Okay, and the third, serum or suspension. Okay, and what I have applied, niacinamide and alpha arbutin, they are both water-based. So, okay na sila yung nauna for sure. And now I'm going to add suspension. Okay, it's uh, azelaic acid. I am going um, to add very little of it because... This is the first time I am putting azelaic acid suspension 10% into my face. So, since first time ko siya, I would like to introduce in a gradual quantity. Hindi pwede na madami agad. Okay? So, konti lang. Mm, actually, what I know about is azelaic acid and alpha arbutin works very well together okay and 
I think that uh, they don't really they don't really advise not a single video or not a single advice about uh, using using this tool with uh, niacinamide what i mean is alpha alpha arbutin and azelaic acid together with niacinamide but hindi dahil sa wala naman silang sinabi eh magiging bawal well uh, in fact yung yung trabaho nila it is most likely the same with azelaic acid it exfoliates the skin very very gently it also combats blemish and dark spots which is the job of uh, niacinamide okay there you go and you see there is no stinging um there is no stinging in my skin that i can feel anything or there is no stinging feeling on my skin a number one sign na the combination of the skin routine that we are applying is not good is our skin reaction kapag uh, the skin feels like oh it's hot it stings Ganon, go ahead and uh, splash water into your face, remove the actives, and start all over again. But the fact na wala akong nararamdaman, it's just good like that. And then it means that they really can work together. Yeah, because I think with this three actives that I had put tonight, uh, they, they address us the same problem. Okay. So, I think they can work all together, hand in hand. Okay, so that's it. That's my niacinamide. My alpha arbutin. And lastly, the azelaic acid. Okay, I'm not going to put any oil as of the moment. Maybe that would be for tomorrow night. Okay, so I hope that you learned one or two from this video. Thank you for tuning in. Until next video about skincare. Ladies, we have to take care of our skin because if we don't, uh, 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 no one can ever do that for us. It's only us. If you are the kind of a person na naaartihan sa lahat ng ina-apply sa iyong mukha, and then please watch out your food intake, okay? All of the things that we are putting topically in our skin, when we say topically, yung mga dinudut-dut natin dyan, okay? Eh, pwede naman natin silang makuha sa ating mga pagkain. Okay, like vitamin C. If you dislike vitamin C because your skin stings every time you put it, come on, drink vitamin C and your skin will still be benefited from it. It's even better. Okay, so there you go. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay safe. Stay sane.